Do you have a favorite shirt or a favorite sweater that tends to pile and get all the little fuzz balls on it after you've worn it and washed it a few times? Well, I'm here to share with you what you can do. Aloha, I'm Janin. And today I want to share with you what you can do if your favorite shirt or a sweater, it doesn't have to be a favorite, but if you have a shirt or a sweater that tends to get all the fuzz balls on it after you've washed it and worn it a few times. And um, it doesn't look very nice when you actually have these little fuzz balls. Now what you can do is there's a couple of options. And one of them is to buy these lint removers. And these are battery operated lint removers. And there's different brands. And this one just so happens to be Evercare. And there's two different sizes. Here's kind of a little portable one, a miniature size, and one that's a little bigger. And the difference, it has a plastic cover over it as well. The difference is that the size of the shaving area is different on each one. Now this one covers a larger area, so you can do, if you have a, a large area where there's a lot of fuzz balls, you can shave it off a little faster. This one just takes a little bit more time. No, one is not better than the other, it's just this one will cover more ground quickly. Now all you have to do is there's a switch on it, an on-off switch, and I'm going to show with the large one. So I have this purple sweater here that I've had for a really long time, and I really like it because I only use it at home, and it's purple's my favorite color. So all you have to do is you just turn it on and you use this shaver in a circular motion so that it can um, grab all those little fuzz balls that you see all over. So let's turn it on. And you just go in a circular motion. Now it's better, it's better if you actually have this laid down on a table or even a bed because it's softer. And you just want to go in a circular motion, but don't stay in one spot too long because what can happen is you can actually eat away at the fabric and create a hole. I did that by accident one time on a different shirt. So you don't want to do that. You always want to keep the shaver moving throughout the, the shirt or outfit that you're working on. So. So what happens is, I'll, I'll take a picture too and put it in the video so that you can actually see the, the before and after on what it looks like once you've shaved off all those fuzz balls. Now you get those fuzz balls because of the type of fiber that it is. It's kind of like especially sweater material, is made out of yarn. And yarn is a fuzzy fabric to begin with. It's all synthetic. And um, after a lot of friction with washing or wearing, it tends to just kind of create these fuzz balls. The fibers tend to just kind of fall apart and create little balls. And same thing with my shirt as well. It's not a sweater knit, but it, it is a knitted fabric and um, it is a different type of material. So I do have fuzz balls all throughout this shirt and the shirt is not very old. So that's one option that you can do. Um, the other of course is um, there's a lint um, comb that you can get. Now the other option you have for getting those fuzz balls off of your shirt or sweater is another tool called defuzz it. It's a sweater fabric comb. Now it's just a plastic piece here and at the bottom it kind of feels like a graded piece of sandpaper and what it and it's really rough feeling and what it does is it actually just scrapes off the fuzz balls off of your shirt or sweater. Now this is not my number one suggestion now it doesn't always work really well because the idea here is to just comb your comb over the sweater or shirt over the, all those fuzz balls and it doesn't really work as well. Now I know this is a much cheaper option but 
you know, it doesn't um, do the job quite like the the shaver does, the battery powered lint shaver or lint remover. And now here's a shirt. It doesn't have as big of the fuzzballs as my sweater does, but it still um, doesn't do a great job. And it they sell this out on the market. So if you ever see it, you know what this is for. Now you do have a third option actually. You can just give your shirt or sweater away, you know, if you didn't want to go through all this trouble. But sometimes we do have something that we like, especially like my sweater. I didn't want to just give it away because, you know, I only use it at home. So if there is, if you do have that problem with fuzz balls on your clothes, the, these are the two options that you have um, that are pretty simple pretty simple to use. This one takes a little bit more effort and patience. And But go and check out these. I'll have the link below so that you can check it out online if you're interested. And they don't cost very much at all too. This is after you're done, there's a collection, there's a little area at the bottom of the shaver where it actually collects all the lint that it just shaved off. So, so let me open this and then let me see if I can get this open here. And then this piece comes off and in here, here's the little catcher. So if I pour it out, you can see the little um, fuzz balls that you can see the, you can see the fuzz that it, it, the fiber that it just got through shaving off of my sweater. I thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment and if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer them and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Aloha.